we now have our firmware updated and now we can finally download to the processor so it takes a little bit of time when you get a new processor so you go ahead uh, it automatically prompts you to the download screen hit download and the program if it doesn't have any errors should download Force is enabled. Now we're online in program mode. Um, this one isn't. Now I, now I actually need to set up the communication for this point IO. <coughs> set um, IP addresses for them. So uh, that'll be in the next step. And that'll conclude our lesson for um, this part going online with the PLC. There's, I mean, quite a bit. Uh, programming PLCs, but this is kind of the hardest step is getting online. Um, I'm going to show you one more time just how to go back online with the processor. You don't have to use Ethernet, but that's the most common thing that we use now. So now I've got communication set up. Um, all you do is click on this little icon up here, um, the Who Active Go Online. You can also do it. I'll do it a different way here. Who Active. Go to Tools and Who Active, then you find your processor and go online. With this program, um, we're going to communicate with VFD's uh, multiple point I.O. That's a remote I.O. It's kind of like a remote I.O. that you would want to communicate to at a long distance from whatever your processor is in. So you can just run one Ethernet cable to all these cards and then that saves on uh, a lot of wiring. <clears throat> In this case we're also going to talk to some PowerFlex 753 drives I can show you in there. Um, everything that you can control a, a variable frequency drive just with Ethernet now you don't need much for um, regular I.O. hardwire. So in this case it's trying to go online with the drive it, it, it's going to time out and then eventually it'll let us um, drill into all the parameters on the setup for that. So here's the setup for the drive. I need to set the IP address for this one. Um, you have to do that offline also. But you go click on the drive and it's trying to talk to the drive right now but there's nothing plugged into it so I'm just going to hit cancel here. And we should see a list of all the parameters for that uh, variable frequency drive after it times out. There we go. Well, it looks like you have to do that offline because it's still trying to connect to it. So I'll go ahead and go offline. Oh, and now I'm going to have to restart everything. I've talked to Rockwell about uh, this problem I've been having. So not everything works perfect, but I'll start that on the next video, how to drill into this parameter list.